Texas, and I guarantee you I've had many more rock bottoms than you have. And it's never as bad as it seems. One of the things that affected me in high school, college, and so on, is I had the advantage of having a photographic memory. And by having a photographic memory, I would never study. I would just look over the paper and I could pull it up and so on and so on. And that's great. It's really awesome that I can do that. It's always been that way. I have a ridiculous memory. But what it did is it stunted the learning experience for me because I didn't retain the information. And by not retaining the information, as the grades got higher and higher and higher, I, um, and I was more challenged, right? I, I failed. And those failures, those are not a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination, but, the, but it really shook my confidence and it really um, made me realize that you can't just skate through life. You cannot not do the work and just expect for the result to be perfect. Like what it really taught me in life is that you have to make a conscious effort to take the steps, to put in the work, to ingrain everything in life. You can't just wave a magic wand and expect it to be good. And there are certain aspects of people that are advantages. And that's not a bad thing. But just make sure that you are doing the work that is necessary in order to get the result that you need. And if you don't get the result that you need, you need to look back at how much work you really put in and how mad can you be at whatever external forces are. Are you mad at yourself because you didn't put in the work?